Today, we're talking about body lovers. Wait a second, let's hold on. You might be looking at that and thinking, hey, that looks crazy hard and how the hell will it help my running? First, I'm gonna give you my spiel about the core. What is the core? So what muscles make up the core? Abdominal, glute, your butt, the hip girdle, the outside part, your paraspinal, the back, all work in concert to provide stability. What stability? Is defined as the ability to control the position and motion of the trunk over the pelvis to allow optimum production, transfer and control of force and motion of the terminal segment and integrated athletic activities. So in human terms, to keep your trunk over your hips to allow production, transfer, and control of motion or force optimally in whatever your athletic activity is running. Okay, so whenever you see something that says core muscles or core stability, that's what it's talking about. Nonetheless, will it help our running? One study found that after six weeks of core strength training, the group did have a faster 5k time, but this new core strength didn't influence their ground reaction force or their leg stability. Another study was checking out injury rates in response to core exercises, and it found that really the only meaningful predictor of injury status, specifically ACL rupture, IT band syndrome, patellofemoral pain, knee pain, it was hip external rotation strength that was the only meaningful predictor of core strength that would mitigate injury. External hip rotation muscles, these muscles. Do you like my Penn State kinesiology sweatpants by the way? I love these. So those studies, the exercises they did were actually like on a stability ball, which means that there was nothing like purely core strength. They always incorporated stability. So I guess I need to make another video incorporating core stability. Uh, okay, so now that we all know what the core is and we can more or less agree on its importance for helping with running, let me show you this exercise, the body lever, which is fairly effective at making it stronger. First, I'm gonna show you the most advanced variation, the full body lever. And then we'll go into some variations that are a little easier with a little less weight that will allow you to gradually progress your way up to the full version. So to start off, find a bar that you can push up into and then lock your shoulders down to the ground with. You don't wanna to be too far away from the bar. You don't wanna to be too close to the bar. You can also use a vertical bar like this. That's totally fine. Lock your upper back into the ground so that you have a nice, strong base of support. Pike your body up and then pressing down on your upper back, creating a little bit of torque. During the exercise, make sure your body doesn't cave in. You want to keep a nice straight line between your toes and your legs and your stomach. So to keep this line, tuck your pelvis, squeeze your stomach, squeeze your butt, and point your toes. Slowly lower down, thinking of extending outwards toward your toes, pushing out your toes, pushing out your legs while keeping everything nice and tight. Your toes, your calves, your glutes, and your stomach. Hold for a second, and then pull back up. As you pull up, it's really important that your legs and your feet come up in line with your stomach. There should be zero bend in your hips. It should all be one straight line. The opposite direction, watch right here. Right at this point, my hips collapse the opposite way. You also don't want this to happen. You don't want your core tension to break. My core muscles fail and my back arches. It goes the opposite direction as the bend we were just talking about. So you have to be careful. As you pull back up, you don't want to bend in the hips and you also don't want to arch. You want a totally straight line. So the full body lever probably puts around two to three times your body weight on your core muscles, the front and the back part of your core. So here's some variations that make it much, much easier and allow you to build yourself up to it. The first one is having bent knees. It's all the same cues as before, except you're not able to point your toes. So you really have to focus on tucking your pelvis and keeping your core engaged throughout. Your back and your pelvis should stay in alignment, even as you touch the ground. You wanna try and touch your pelvis and your feet at the same time on the ground while keeping that core tightly engaged. Hold for a second at the bottom, pull back up. What's important with these is that your upper back is always gonna be pressed into the ground and your lower back will touch, but it will never rest on the ground. So it's always gonna be just barely grazing the surface, ready to pull back up. This variation is a great stepping stone as well. So keep one leg bent and keep the other extended. Again, keep your pelvis tucked and your core engaged, and you can point your toes of the opposing leg, while the other one relieves some of that pressure and some of that weight. This last variation is a negative, probably the most effective way to get a full front lever, but it takes time. 
there's two progressions to a negative. One is this variation where you lower down and you hold it at a spot and you squeeze and you squeeze and you squeeze and you collapse. The other variation of the negative is if you cannot hold that position, then you just slowly control the descent. Try and keep the descent as long as possible, three seconds, five seconds, until your feet hit the ground and reset. I know those are challenging. It took me a long time to be able to do those. That being said, they are completely attainable. You can do them, it just takes a little time. If you have a little patience, you just think of like the long-term picture, it's very doable. This today, body levers are like truly a core exercise. Core is strong, stable, there's no bend, there's no twist to it. It's all about keeping the spine neutral and like kind of safe and protected. And athletics as athletes, what we want from core strength is yeah, it'd be nice to have like a six pack and have a nice physique, that's great. But as athletes, we want something that's functional that helps our sport. As runners, we need something that helps with our running, helps with our biomechanics. The idea of having a strong, stable, neutral kind of core is that there's no wasted motion. There's no motion with excessive rotation, there's no excessive hip drop, and that your body's able to handle the repetitive stress the repetitive impact, the repetitive downwards force that comes from running. Having a strong core is one aspect of maintaining good biomechanics and having a good running efficiency. It's just one part of it. Body levers are by far and away one of my favorite exercises to do. They're very difficult. Um, you only need to do a few repetitions. Like I top out at three usually, three reps. I might do three sets of three reps and that's like a good strength exercise. Take those, try them out, try those different variations. Go for three sets of three of whatever you're gonna try. You can do the negatives where you go all the way down and you resist, you resist, you resist, you resist, you resist, you hold as long as you can, and your feet drop, totally cool. You can do the one-legged variation with one leg bent. That'll kind of help reduce the leverage, make it a little easier. You can do bent legs as well, that's okay, bent knees. Eventually you wanna be able to do it with two feet sticking straight out. So just, you know, these are also fantastic because they work on kind of both sides of your core, the front and the back. As you're going down, you're actually training your lower back, your back, core muscles a little bit. And then when you pull back up, you're engaging the front aspect of your core. So both are very, very, very important. That's why they're, that's why they're beautiful because they go both ways, right? It's a perfect core training exercise. I love it. So add these in, add them with leg levers three times a week. Do these three sets of three. And yeah, just be patient and give it time. You're gonna get so strong over time. It transfers over so well to your running performance. Just a quick sign up before we end. So this and the leg lever are actually very common in the gymnastics world they're actually considered beginner or entry-level strength moves which makes me just feel kind of like eh. but the variations that I showed you today like the different positions that put less weight on the core I learned those from coach Christopher Summer at gymnasticbodies.com I'll link his channel in the description below this is not sponsored in any way uh, I actually haven't spoke with him in years but I do know him personally he's a fantastic guy I bought his books and his training plans and I've been on his form I even went to one of his seminars in Scottsdale Arizona nice nicest guy you'll ever meet and an amazing coach. And all these variations I learned from him. So I gotta give credit where it's due. I'll link his channel below. If you guys are interested in any of this kind of like body weight strength stuff, I could not recommend his channel, his content, highly enough. It's fantastic. It's epic. Every ounce of body weight strength that I, that I cultivated in college, I was doing full front levers, full back levers, 10 plus muscle ups, 30 foot row climbs with no feet. Crazy stuff. And I attribute it all to him and his system. So go check it out if you're interested. All right guys, that's it for body levers. If you haven't checked out leg lifts, I'll put it up here. Go check it out. And the next video will be on side levers or flags. <laughs> Man, Jake, I really like this content. It's really cool and unique. If only there was some way I could show my appreciation via a button, a clickable button that's just below this video. Oh, maybe it would have some kind of thumb indicator. Hmm. And also, if there was a way I could like tell other people about your channel. I wonder if there's anything I could do. I think a copy, paste, share, subscribe. Hmm. All right, guys, that's it for today. Keep up with these exercises. They're fantastic. They're fun. Um, Bye.